Do it with Dan. 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 It's a Camaro vlog. All right, it's a little loud, especially in the garage. Traction control. So there's a couple of reasons why I wanted to do my Camaro vlog today. It's been really shitty weather lately and things have been not great as far as like wanting to ride, even though that like, just a couple of days it was fucking sunshine and perfect the the weather for the forecast for the next couple of weeks is uh gonna be pretty shit up until we leave for our cruise and i kind of want to make a video kind of talking about that i'm leaving for my cruise this saturday i want to let you guys know that between the 20th and the 26th i will be gone so there'll be almost a whole week of no footage or no videos i guess um, I'll probably leave you guys with one video or something like that, like an hour long video or so. I'm going to try to do that. If I don't get around to it, don't chop my head off. Um, not only that, but uh, when I get back the 27th, I'm loading my bike up and I'm instantly going right out to Texas for the Texas meetup with Motor Nazi and all that. I'm sure you guys are aware of that meetup. Um, you probably didn't know that I was going, but I'll be there at the Texas meetup along with a couple other motor vloggers. You guys hear that lobe, by the way? motorcycle video because you guys have been asking for a little bit more of the Camaro video since it's you know sounding so awesome etc etc and I figure I get, get a chance to talk to you guys real quick about something that I really want to do that I just kind of started thinking about uh, it's not like I've been thinking about this idea for a while or anything like that but I thought you know thinking about the the meetup made me think about this all right so I want to go to the Motonocity meetup which I'm gonna go and then I also, you know, in the future would like to create my own meetup. I'm thinking sometime after winter. But it's not going to be like a regular meetup. I think what I'm going to do, and this is strictly me thinking about it, um, and I want to get you guys' reaction about this. Um, instead of me going, or uh, instead of me holding a meetup in my area and making everyone drive, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get on the CBR 1000, and maybe take a friend of mine, drive all the way out to California, and then take the long way back. I've looked at it on Google Maps and whatnot. Avoiding highways, it's about a 6,000 mile journey, and I'm not gonna be taking the, uh, the quick way, I'm gonna be taking the slow way, so no highways. And I figure in every state, I will stop at one city and do a small get together there. And this, this will take place after winter, uh, when spring starts to hit and all the snow melts and stuff like that because I don't have the time and I don't have the money and I don't have the uh, blah 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 to I don't have this that and the other to plan it right now I don't have the funds to plan it right now and this is going to be an expensive uh, expensive trip for me so what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to save up for during the winter and when spring hits when it starts to warm up a little bit I will hop on my bike and I will travel out to California stopping at each state Texas I'll be stopping in two in two places because I think it'll take me two days to get through Texas it's about 2,700 miles to California where I'll stay out you know meet up with some other motor vloggers out there um, which have no idea that I'm coming right now by the way I've, this is just something that I started thinking about like just the other night and then take my long way back and stop my ultimate goal would be to stop at Neil's house or, or EN 187 you guys know him as EN 187 and and see Neil and Kai and his kid, I think in Bain, you know, I think that'd be that'd be really cool. That's my ultimate goal. So drive out to California, meet up with all the the suburban delinquent and uh, Baker X Dickhead and Arson faggots, and then go all the way across and hit um, Neil, you know, 87, then back down to Georgia. Of course, I'd be like I said, I'd be stopping in each state, you know, staying at a hotel or something like that, travel about three to four hundred miles a day. Um, with that type of with that type of time frame, it'll take me about two two and a half weeks to do, and I'll be vlogging every day on the way out there. So for 
So for two and a half weeks, I'll be uploading a video just about every day um, where I vlog and I talk about my journey. And um, it'll be really cool. I'll stop and edit each video uh, at the hotel. I'll bring my laptop with me and I can edit the videos together, I think. I don't really know. My, my laptop's kind of shit. Um, I would say I'd buy a new laptop, but I just had to buy a new computer because my computer's been acting really funny lately and like shit's, shit's been going whack lately with stuff. So it's going to take me a little while to build up some funds for this. It's, it's not a cheap, it's not a cheap journey. And this way it'll give you guys, um, time to prepare too. If you know, let's say that you have to drive like two or three hours to do the meetup with me and you know, I'll, I'll pick a select location to, to where we can do it. I'll get, get in contact with some other people, you know, and then we can do a small meetup just for a couple of hours with all the motorcycle riders and vloggers and stuff like that. It'll be 22 states. I'll be hitting 22 states uh, in this journey. It'll be a 22 state ride, 6,058 miles on the CBR 1000. Like I said, there's a lot I have to invest into this. It'll have to be new tires, new sprocket, new chain. Uh, that'll run me about 500 bucks. And there's just a... Uh, there's a lot of money I'm gonna have to sink into this to get it to, to, to work right. But my ultimate goal is to be able to do all of the above. Also, I wanted to give you guys the taste of the, the Camaro. Woo -wee. Spinning all throughout first. anti-lock brake system and that's enough of that RIP my gas and my brakes and my tires so I just want to get you guys opinion on uh, how this will like what you guys think about this is something that I, I really spur of the moment that I want to do but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna do it. Unless some crazy unforeseen circumstances happen, I'm gonna go with, through with this. So, um, 6,000 mile round trip, and this will also give me a chance to prepare. I've never ridden my bike anything longer than I think 180 miles, my CBR. I've never ridden my CBR longer than 180 miles in one trip. Fucking Jesus. So that'll give me a chance to meet up with some people and I'll still, have um, a lot of fun driving out to California. Like that's, I think that's kind of like every biker's, you know, ultimate goal, I think, is to do like a really long ride. And for the longest time, I'd never had the, uh, never had the want to, but one day I was just like, dude, I want to fucking do a really long ride. And so the way I'm thinking about it, between fuel costs, hotel costs, um, tires, sprockets, this that and the other it'll probably cost me around four grand to do i think i can do it for under four grand you know because you know my bike filled up takes about 15 bucks to fill up fill it up three times a day and then hotels are anywhere between 80 to 120 bucks a night depending on where you stay maybe even more maybe less and then food costs 10 20 bucks a day just this, that, and the other. So I'm trying to, I'm trying to calculate it all over the, over the course of two weeks, three weeks. It'll be a, it'll be a, a hefty, it'll be a hefty cost. But you know, it's something that I really want to do, and I, I figured I'll go ahead and do it now, while I'm still young, before like shit pops up. You know, like if I were to ever have a kid or some shit, or you know, have like a real job, you know, I better go ahead and do it now. And this way, I get to meet up with you guys, um, and all that. And the reason why I'm taking the CBR over the Magna is one, because the CBR isn't extremely loud. The Magna is actually less comfortable on longer rides. It gets worse gas mileage. I can only get about 80 miles to the tank where the CBR can get almost 200 if I, if I, I kind of stick off the throttle. And uh, there's, just, there's a lot of factors that go into the reason why I don't want to take the Magna. Also because the Magna is a 1994 Honda that's got 50 something thousand miles on it. And that bike's already not really running great, so I won't be taking the Magna. It's, it's better for me just to, uh, 
it's better for me just to stay safe and take the CVR because it'll be a little bit more uncomfortable in the back. That's why I'm thinking I'll stop every 100 miles, fill up, stretch, get some food, and kind of relax a little bit. That'll that'll keep me from getting too locked up, I think, you know. I, I think this will be fun. I really do. I really want to do it. I know I'll be I'll probably be miserable in the middle because of how uncomfortable I'll be. I'm trying to think right now, like... In the beginning, it'll be fucking awesome for the first day, maybe two days, it'll be awesome, and then I'll hit a period where I'll be physically just, like, drained, because I'm have i not used to riding my bike that much, especially um, with that type of distances. There's there's a lot of factors that I have to factor in. I'm, I might invest in some sort of, like, back brace or something. Like, I'll, I, I know I'll have to, another thing that I'll have to add to the list, I have to get some saddlebags for the CBR 1000. I've been looking at this really cool one that, like, just sticks on the tail, and it's, like, these two big bags. And that'll be enough for me to stash my clothes, you know. I have to pack for two weeks, or I'll have to be stopping at some sort of dry cleaners. And um, so there's a lot of things I'm just thinking about, trying to get ready. Um, I'm still waiting on EN 187 to get done with the battery delete pack. That way I can run my GoPro 24-7. I have a, a big enough SD card to where I can run it without running out of space. And this allow me to uh, vlog as much as I want. So this is something that I really want to do. Like I said, I'll um, I'll stop at each state, at least one place in each state, and hold like a small meetup. And you guys will you guys will know the route ahead of time. So if you want to ride with me for like a little bit during the during the trip, you know, I'm gonna be going across country. And if you guys, if if there's any bikers out there, you know, like oh shit. Dan's in my state, he's coming through my town, let's just fucking meet up with him for a couple of hours and ride with him, and then fuck, or you know, whatever. If you guys want to, like, meet up with me and ride with me while I'm riding to my destination, that would be sick. That lope, though. So, like I said, I want to wait till, um, after winter, because winter's cold, and I don't want to be riding in the snow, especially since I'm a Georgia boy, and my idea of cold is about... 55 degrees um this way it'll, it'll it'll give me a chance to like kind of prepare for it and whatnot and when when the time gets closer for me to to do this i will be posting photos on my instagram on my um facebook i do not have a twitter so if you see anybody on twitter named do it with dan it's not me as it as it gets closer i'll be posting all this shit to my facebook and instagram about where i'm gonna be what the what the map is and stuff like that i'll even link you guys to the destinations and stuff like that where i plan to be at what times and here's the thing man i'll probably go to bed at like 10 o'clock get up at seven and start rolling out then that way i can still stay within like you know reasonable time frames for everybody baron von grumble did something similar to this that got me really excited it's where he traveled across as many countries as he could in 48 hours 72 hours i think it's 72 hours and i love that video i absolutely love those videos because he's vlogging along the way and uh him and his buddy in 72 hours are just riding across as many countries as they can well what's different and by the way what's different about this for my um for my overseas viewers is that the united states is large we have 50 individual states which dwarf a lot of countries it's pretty crazy so you gotta think about 200 the, the the entire trip from start to finish should run about 6,000 to 6,100 miles I don't know how many that is in kilometers but it's a fucking lot and this will be all done on my 2008 CBR 1000 I'm gonna be investing in some other things to make it more comfortable like a new seat and maybe like a back brace or something to keep my my spine from fucking just being ripped to shreds on this trip and uh, I'll probably invest in some new fairings before I go too. That way I'm not riding around with these shitty fairings that could fall off at any moment. There's just a lot of things that it's going to entail in me prepping for. Um, and I'm sure I, I know how the motor vlogging community works, you know. Um, there I know there will be a handful of people that ask me to come and stay at their house and stuff like that. Um, which I'm not super keen on and it's not because I don't love you guys. It's not, it's not because I don't love you guys. It's not something that I'm, I'm not super keen on just because I don't want to feel like a burden to people. I hate, I hate feeling like a burden to other people. So, um, if you guys, we'll, we'll, 
we'll get more into uh, into where I'm staying at as we get closer. That's not something I'm really worried about because the worst case scenario is I can get a hotel and I'll, I'll schedule the hotels in advance if need be. But this is something that I'm super excited for. I've asked Laura if she'd be able to come with me and she doesn't think she will because um, because of her work schedule. She's got a she's got a job that that really involves a lot of stuff that she has to be on top of 24/7. So. I doubt that she'll be able to come, but I think that maybe my buddy Chase will come, the one that I went to with the Atlanta meet. Not Chase on two wheels, um, but my, my friend Chase, he was on the um, the Z1000, the 2003 Z1000. I think he might come with me. And that's that's just for like support and having a friend do the whole trip with. Um, I was gonna do it alone. I think that I would have liked to do it alone, but uh, there's a couple of things that I, I don't wanna do it alone for. Thank you.